A day after the Pope's visit to Parliament, a huge welcome for another man seen by millions as a light of hope. The saviour of women and communities terrorised in the war-torn Democratic Republic of Congo, Dr. Denis Mukwege, winner of this year's Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought, a gynaecologist who's transformed the lives of tens of thousands of victims of rape and mutilation. Chaque femme est violée. Je l'identifie à ma femme. Chaque mère violée, je l'identifie à ma mère. Et chaque enfant violé, je l'identifie à mes enfants. Il est temps de s'occuper des causes. Des milliers de témoignages des victimes montrent que le peuple congolais a soif de justice, de paix et aspire au changement. Il y a urgence. Agir. Dr. Mukwege runs the Pansy Hospital in northeastern DRC, where he and his team have treated women with horrific internal wounds, mm -hmm. resulting from sexual violence by Congolese and neighboring rebels, all of whom are fighting for control of the resource-rich area. A man who says he studied medicine to heal the sick people his father could only pray for. A man who has consistently demanded DRC and the world end rape as a weapon of war. A theme echoed by President Schulz, who spelled out some necessary but elementary steps. Das heißt, meine Damen und Herren, die de facto herrschende Straffreiheit für Vergewaltigungen in bewaffneten Konflikten muss beendet werden. Dann müssen diese Kriegsverbrechen auch wie Kriegsverbrechen bestraft werden. For those living in the shadow of DRC's never-ending violence, who traveled a long way to see the prize awarded, it was a moving moment. C'est vraiment euh, horrible quand il y a encore une semaine et demie, 50 personnes, femmes enceintes, ont été euh, tuées, mais de façon dramatique, les enfants mutilés. Un prix pareil peut aider à ouvrir les yeux des gens. Les gens comprennent qu'ailleurs, euh, à travers le monde, il y a des hommes et des femmes qui soutiennent la lutte et donc euh, ça donne un courage énorme. And from inside the parliament itself, some reactions. The kind of work he does, if he gets more recognition with his prize and gets more recognition to him, is something which is good for all of us. Those women, they need, and the girls, because most of them were girls, they need that public opinion knows what is happening in Congo. Dr. Mukwege survived an assassination attempt several years ago and fled with his family to Europe. He returned last year to a hero's welcome. Little is going to stop this man, universally recognized as a medical pioneer, driven by deep compassion.